What I feel is important for kids is touching and feeling things. Tech doesn't allow you to touch and feel and sense something. It allows you to read something and take you to a different place, but not be in that moment and feeling what dirt is, feeling how a leaf is, cooking, you know, spending time in the garden. These things I see are kind of being taken away by people sitting on a device, you know. Uh, those are what makes you a human being and not sitting in front of a device. I think that's so important to be aware of your surroundings and there's a whole beautiful <laughs> world out there and you don't always have to be looking on your phone for it. So my son is actually very into computers and programming and I think it's very age appropriate. So at the younger ages, you don't want to try to get kids to memorize, you know, the Java programming language. So there's much more value in teaching them like logic puzzles and problem solving skills and how to sort of logically order your thoughts in, in working on something than actually like using the technology. We had them do, you know, classic peanut butter and jelly experiment where they have to write down in order, like put peanut butter on bread and I would just take the jar and put it on the bread. And they had to really think through like, why am I writing these steps? Like why are these steps important to have in that order and everything else? Bowman has always been good about sort of the age appropriateness of when they introduce those things. And then as they get older, like in the middle school, for instance, they do start having programming classes. One of the things that is really hard is when a kid is first learning something and you get a machine to do it for you, they tend to rely on the machine building it all the time. When you're there and you're working with, say, a piece of wood and you've got to physically measure it out, mark it, you're responsible for making that cut. And if you've mismeasured, it becomes part of your story where if you put the information in and the machine mismeasures, somehow the blame gets put on the machine. Even though I may have typed it all in wrong, it's just a different responsibility for how the product comes out. And if you give them that opportunity to first physically work with the stuff, then they can see what the machine's doing for them. It makes how it helps or speeds up the process more concrete for the kids to understand. Would I be totally excited if someone brought in a, a robotic CNC cutter? Absolutely. And I think when we use them all together, it's really the most powerful because then kids can see computer used as a tool and then they can see, but they're responsible in it.